Appreciate y'all for tuning in. I know I don't really show my face too much, but today is a good day. Um, I don't know if you can see in the background, but that's the new upgraded boat, the 1548 G3. So I'm pretty much, you know, pretty much just about to give y'all a little quick little, you know, walk around and see all the little features that it came with. But I will be doing some upgrades, so y'all stay tuned. No fishing in this video, so sorry for that. So what we're gonna do we're gonna start from the back so apparently this um this boat got this got this boat from a good guy out in uh south carolina uh, you know I'll keep his name you know kind of confidential but real good guy man uh he kept pretty good condition of it too from his uh previous owner so um uh, but i plan to do a couple little modifications to it um you know hopefully i can Show him what I did to it and, you know, hopefully he'll appreciate it. <laughs> but I ain't going to change too much, man. It's, like I said, it's in pretty decent shape. So, but other than that, got the outboard motor right here. Uh, I believe it said it's a 25 horsepower. It's a Tahatsu 2004. Yeah. Electric start. So, you know, you got all the buttons and all that. This I'm kind of new to all this stuff, but, you know, I'm going to figure it out. But for the most part, I know how to start and everything. And the worst case, fail, it got a pull cord. So, I ain't worried about that. Nice little battery system back here. I think he says 24 volt. I can't really remember, but I'll find out. Got the bilge pump. I'll probably replace that because it's getting a little banged up. But ain't no big deal. I mean, pretty good job as far as wiring. I mean, the previous owner and the previous owner before that kept it previous, um, kept it pretty, pretty clean as far as the wire. Nice little gas uh, can. I don't know if it's nailed down or what, but I, I tried moving it. I couldn't move it. But other than that, straightforward. I mean, it does have a. Um, Little switch panel here that's real convenient 12 volt phone charger usb voltage meter so that's pretty cool got the stern i think this is what you call it, the stern light if i'm wrong please correct me in the comments y'all but uh i already got the little anchor cleats and that does help like if you want to run the rope in between so basically you don't have to tie any more knots basically but it already has some uh some rod holder mounts which will actually work for mine which i already have so if i'm doing some catfishing that'll work out pretty cool it's got this plate up here um i'm gonna probably unscrew that run some wires for my trolling motor um he looks like he had a trolling motor on here before uh the previous owner or well, the previous previous owner so I'll, I'll definitely be mounting mine up i will be needing to replace this otherwise it's gonna be banging against the boat which is probably gonna create some damage um navigation light not working but ain't no big deal I don't really plan out being on that night too much, so it's got this nice little uh, front spotlight, whatever you call this thing. I think it's bright too. More anchor cleats. Got the seat up front. Fire extinguisher. Floats. Another battery up front. Some oars. Well, the oar. A stern light. And guys, you know I like music, so I was pretty pretty hyped when it already had like a radio system already installed. So that's pretty dope. Also has a ruler already on here. Pretty dope. Tracker boat seats. I'm probably gonna be replacing these. Um, 
just uh just because I, I actually prefer my seats that i already have it already came equipped with a nice garmin fish finder echo 300c um i'll probably switch it out at some point but in the meantime it'll do i usually use my other separate fish finder up front anyway the one that has the uh the side scan and all that good stuff but other than that y'all I mean, it's a real really in good condition trailers wide big tires now the trailer lights wasn't working earlier but i think i figured what was wrong because i can already see that the wire for the ground came out and that's probably why my lights weren't coming on so i'll have to fix that too but that ain't no big problem so Again, I done upgraded to the 1548 bigger boat. So this should do me some more justice in the creeks and on the river. I'm gonna have to retire the, uh, the little boy. I got it all tarped up. So I'll be taking this uh, trolling motor off and putting it on that most likely. But again, this is probably about to be up on, on Facebook Marketplace pretty soon. All right, y'all. Y'all stay tuned for the upgrades. Fred B. Fishing TV. Continue to like, subscribe, all that good stuff, man. I'm trying to grow my, my channel a little bit. I mean, shoot, I, I appreciate the money, but I ain't nowhere close to a 1,000 subscribers. But this is just a fun hobby for me, man. So y'all continue to support. Y'all stay tuned, all right? All right, guys. As I mentioned before, I'm going to be doing a couple little modifications uh, change some things up around a little bit in the boat uh, First task I'm doing is basically removing these seats because I'm gonna upgrade them to uh, My own seats that I already personally have um, Not knocking these at all. It's just the previous swivel mount down there. Like I couldn't even get this seat off the uh, like I couldn't pull the swivel pole out whatever so I just completely took the whole damn base out and I'm probably just put some new ones in because it's probably just been so old and rusted to the point where it just will not come out. And I don't feel like breaking my back trying to pull them damn things out. So, But I already started on this one. I will have to get the other one, which will take a little, a little finessing, but it eventually it comes off uh, unscrewing everything. So as you can tell, move this. Yeah. So again, guys, I could not get that damn thing out of the mount. So I completely just removed the whole damn thing. So that's what it looks like. Pretty nasty. You know what I'm saying? But basically all I'm going to do is just get a new, uh, I believe it's the Swivel Easy from Walmart. They're pretty cheap. New mount, new swivel base, and put my new seats on. This one should be fine, so. But that's the next step, y'all. Stay tuned. Alright y'all, it took a while, but I finally got both of them out. And again guys, all I'm going to do is replace these two with some newer, new mounts and swivels. Because those were just rusted. Probably put those on the old boat and sell it. Damn man, it's hot out here. Alright, that's enough for today man. Uh, or at least enough for right now. Then I'll uh I'll jump back at this later. Y'all stay tuned, alright?